All right, so this is a video series to, you know, to build a posting app with Dunkable. In the past, in the previous video, I showed you how to set up your Firebase, which is going to handle user accounts. And now I'm going to show you how, I'm going to actually show you a template you can use for the register screen, the, you know, the login screen and a landing screen. Um, and you can use this template over and over to kind of just get the login stuff working for your app. And of course, you can update the template I give you, but you're going to want to go in your browser to bit.ly slash lowercase dw login. Okay. And at, this is just really going to a, to a thunkable app page, um, which is this login only app. Okay. And this login only app, it essentially just has register screen, login screen, landing page screen. Um, and a change password screen. Okay. Once you get to here, okay, so you're gonna you're gonna use my template. You're gonna click on see inside. It's gonna open an app. It's gonna say read only, right? Okay. But you're gonna click to remix. So you're gonna be able to get your own copy of it. So when you say click to remix, it creates this login only app copy. Okay. You can rename that later and you can rename it to your posting app or whatever you want to call it but now you have your own copy. Now this app is not going to work right out of the box. Okay. And the reason is, is, you know, my template is connected, was connected to my Firebase and also to a spreadsheet, my own Google sheet, which, so you're going to have to create your own Google sheet, and then you're going to have to hook this in to your own Firebase. Okay. Let's start with the Firebase part. Um, you're just going to want to, you know, choose the app name basically, and then come over to the app settings scroll down and notice the API key is blank. Okay. Uh, because when, when you copy someone else's app, of course they don't copy the API key for, for that, for that person's Firebase. Okay. So you want to go back to the Firebase thing you just created, the Firebase app you just created and go to settings and just scroll down and find your API key. Okay, so just copy this guy and you're going to use that um, and just paste it in as your API key. Okay, so right now your app would kind of allow logging in, uh, but there's this one extra part, which is, you know, Firebase doesn't handle um, usernames. It just has emails and passwords. And so we're going to use a spreadsheet um, to, do, to do that. So... Um, what you want to do is go to your um, Google Drive. So I've already created this Google Sheet, but if you want to just create one, you know, go to your drive uh, in Google Drive, create new and create a Google Sheet. Okay. And what you're going to do is in the column heading, you know, name this one username, name this one email. Um, so we're just going to map username and email. I just make these bold. You don't have to, but the, the top row, the first row, make sure it's in there is going to have these two column headings and then name this guy. What we're going to name it is, um, user email map uh, three. Okay. You can name it whatever you want, but name it something like that. Cause that's what it's, that, that's its purpose. Okay. Okay. So now you have this Google sheet. It better be created with the same account as your Thunkable, you know, as you're logged into Thunkable. Okay, for me, it's David W. Wolber. Um, so I'm going to want to come over here. And, you know, we've got this data viewer list. It's got a data source, which is a user email map. But that's, once again, that's to the spreadsheet that I created, you know, in my template. And you're going to have to, you, you need to map to your own, your, your own okay? Um, one way to add your own is to come over here, click on data sources. Um, and I'm just going to say create new, choose Google Sheets, choose select a sheet, and then you can come up and choose your whatever spreadsheet, spreadsheet you just created. And then just say create. Okay. So now you've got this other data source. And uh, for your data list viewer, you're going to want to use it. So you just click add and I can just choose user email map three, um, create, whoops, sorry. I just need to choose user email map three. There we go. And once you choose that, then, then it's 
almost all set. Okay. Last thing you, or last couple things you need to do is on the login screen, there's a few blocks that need to be changed. Sometimes you need to up, uh, refresh and thunkable to see your blocks, but you'll notice there's just a little bit of code that refers to my old spreadsheet. Okay. And this is very, you be very careful with this part, but you want to come and choose the spreadsheet you just added in both of these two lines and notice the fields get messed up. But for this email list, when this top one, you want to choose the email. Okay. Because you're, you're, you're essentially what this code is doing is bringing in all the emails from that spreadsheet into a list. Um, and then for the user list, you indeed want to do username. So make sure you choose the right spreadsheet and then make sure you choose email for this top one and username for the bottom one. Okay, so that's on the login screen. And then on the register screen, there's just one place where you need to make the change and you need to choose user email map three. Okay, once again, things get messed up a little bit. Um, but you just want to have the username and make sure you actually stick it in there and it turns green and make sure the email text input dot text. So it's just a, um, a couple easy changes, but you got to make sure you make them or things will not work. Okay. So, so log in screen, changing these two lines and then register screen, changing this one line. Okay. So now you've got my code you know that i gave you and but now you're connecting to your firebase login and to your own spreadsheet you just created okay and of course your spreadsheet um you know has no data right um and your firebase uh you know console you know if you go to your authentication you know there's no users yet okay so now let's run let's run our app and I've got my app, um, you know, projecting onto this screen. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Thunkable and just do a live test. Oops, sorry. Let me let me close some of these windows. Okay, so um, if I do live test, and now it's running on my phone. You can't see it. Sorry. Um, but here's, here's, here's the app running on, on the phone. Okay. Obviously I can't log in. I've never registered. Right. So I'm a new user. So I'm going to touch on register and then enter email. And I'm just going to, uh, type in my David W. Wolber at Gmail. Sorry about my slow typing my son complains about it all the time. He's much faster. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's my email. I'll put it a uh, username as DW uh, Wolb. Okay. And then a password of um, my one that I never use for real, but I use in all these samples is Tomas one. Okay. So now I'm just registering. So I'm a user. I'm testing our app. Now I click submit. And I uh, just got successfully registered. I think it waits a second, then it brings this thing up. Okay, you'll notice, oh, it's good. That I didn't mean, <laughs> I, I didn't do this, but the spreadsheet, you'll notice it put the mapping in for me, which is, which is great. So it's got the username to email mapping. And in fact, if we go look at the, uh, the Firebase tool, um, it should also show us that a new user got added. I think you have to refresh here, but when you refresh, you'll notice that now um, there's a new user in the fire. So Firebase is keeping track of all the users for our app and, and it successfully had, has it in there. Okay. So anyway, now if I press login, let me bring up the app again so you can see it. Okay. And you know, this is, this is running through Thunkable Live, the testing app. Um, notice it that the app put in automatically put that email and and uh, password in. Okay, and if I touch login, it's not very exciting, but it says, "Oh, well, please check your email to verify the account." Okay, 
So in other words, when someone registers, it sends an email to their uh, email account and then they have to actually verify. So if I go to my Gmail and refresh and in my inbox, I've got this, um, you know, verify email. Okay. And then I've been testing this a little bit. So anyway, there, there you go. So now I should be able to log in. Um, and, but that, you know, that's the way you, you kind of verify that your users actually exist. And now if I touch log in here, um, you have successfully logged in. And, you know, the really important part to make sure you know your app is working and make sure that the email mapping, that spreadsheet's working okay, it should come up with the username here on when it, on this landing screen. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the, 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 you know, now you have an app, right. And, you know, probably in 20 minutes or something using my scaffolding, you have an app that lets users log in. All you're doing right now is just saying hello to the user. <laughs> okay. But you've got all that set up and then you can add your own stuff 